Hello, so as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I decided to make a cats versus dog ceramic chess set and today I'm starting with the queen and this is the idea, the sketching of the idea. It's supposed to be tiny kittens hiding in the queen's coat, actually making up the queen. I don't know, I found it kind of funny. The first step of the process is to roughly model the shape and I measure it to make sure it has an actual standard chess piece size which is about 9 centimeters for the queen and I made the body and attached the head and then I started with the rough details as you will see soon like carving up the insides of the coat and then adding the tiny kittens So my idea, as you saw, was to make this queen sort of made out of little kittens. It's supposed to be like the kittens are actually pretending to be the queen, but in hindsight it kind of looks like there are tiny kittens hiding in the queen's coat, which is kind of weird, but whatever, it's already done. This part took a lot of time because I had to attach the tiny ears for each kitten and my nails were really long so this part was really difficult. They kind of look like little piggies right now. Then I started modeling the fur trim for the coat which will be on the sides of the coat and the back side and also the color. So this part is where it all comes together. I am going in with the face details. This is supposed to be a Persian cat, but it kind of looks like a walrus right now. It actually reminds me of a cartoon. I'm not really sure about the name. I will attach it somewhere if I find it. So here you can see me painstakingly texturing the coat and then I am going in with the little hands also with the furry cuff in them which I will texture later on. Now I am making the crown. This actually took a lot of tries because it is such a tiny piece with all those little peaks and it always looked very wonky but I finally um, got it right and you will see me attaching it to the head for the queen and I think this is the last part of the modeling process, I'm not sure. Okay, yes, yes it was, so once it's dry, I sand it down and then I started going in with some underglazes. For those of you who don't know, underglazes are a special sort of paint used in ceramics 
that can be fired at really high temperatures. I painted the cat a gray color and the crown in a bright yellow, which I will um, make something different uh, afterwards, but you have to wait to see that. And then I am painting the gems and the little details in the fur, the eyes, you get the gist. My intention was to make every kitten look different, but I think that one orange cat sort of looks out of place, it's too bright, but whatever. And now I am signing it with my maker's mark. And this is how it looks at the moment. And then uh, I decided to go in with those little hearts, which I think are really cute. This you see right here is glaze and it will look transparent and glossy after firing. And then I went in with gold luster. This looks brown and ugly right now, but just wait for the final result because it's so cool. And then I gave her a little manicure. Look at that gold crown, I think it looks amazing and so does the manicure. I really love this piece, I think it's really cool. I will be doing the rest of the chest set, so if you have any ideas let me know and if you want to you can subscribe.